Oscar nominees have been announced, and I'm going to go through them all and just give my thoughts. Now, I haven't seen every of these films. Again, I'm not a film critic. I'm just a guy who enjoys film and sees a fair amount of movies. There's, but, you know, I have seen a fair amount of these, like, more so than last year, so let's just go through them, and first off, let's start with Best Picture. I'm just going to, I'm reading off the list. There's... Just warning you, there's going to be a lot of me not looking directly at the camera, like, probably, like, right now, because I'm going to be looking at the screen. But I'm going to try and center it, and, sorry, there's, like, a bit of hair in front of me. Okay, so, for Best Picture, like, I've basically seen most of these films. I mean, the, and all of them I enjoyed. The There's only, like, three that I haven't seen. Theory of Everything. Um... Theory of Everything, American Sniper, which came out this weekend, I'm probably going to go try and go see. And Birdman, which I am definitely seeing this weekend. And, again, I like all the films. I pretty, I've reviewed all of them, the ones I've seen. Um, I want Grand Budapest Hotel to win, but odds are it's either going to go to Boyhood, because... Oftentimes, the Golden Globe winner tends to be the best picture winner. At least that's how it worked the past couple of years. Or either Boyhood or Bird, Birdman. Possibly Grand Budapest Hotel, finger, fingers crossed, although I doubt it. Selma might win, although I doubt it, considering, like some, as someone point, as Lindsay, the nostalgic could point out. Twelve Years a Slave won last year, so I don't think the Academy would quite want to give it to that film. Whiplash runner up. I don't know if it'll win, but it's definitely like my probably runner up for winning it. I can't comment on Imitation Game. No, I wait. I meant Theory of Everything. Imitation Game. I really enjoyed it, although from what I've seen, it hasn't achieved the biggest critical praise. But it. So probably won't win, but still a good movie. But yeah, Boyhood's probably going to win. I mean, I don't agree. I liked it. I don't think it's great, but I doubt it. So for actors in leading role, again, I really haven't seen any of these, like Foxcatcher, American Sniper, I can't comment on since I haven't seen Cumberbatch. I really thought he was really good in Imitation Game. Michael Keaton in Birdman, I feel like he's probably going to win, although I've yet to see Birdman. And free of everything. I'm surprised that the guy playing Martin Luther King wasn't nominated, but that was kind of a snub. And for actress, again, I haven't seen any of these, so I really can't comment. Um, actors, again, of the two I've seen, Ethan Hawke. In Boyhood, J.K. Simmons in Whiplash. I want J.K. Simmons when he was amazing. I liked Ethan Hawke in Boyhood. I thought he did a good job. I thought out of all the characters in Boyhood, he was the most interesting. But hands down, it's J.K. Simmons. I haven't seen Birdman yet. All I'm sure Edward Norton's going to do an amazing job in that. But yeah, J.K. Simmons all the way. Uh, for again, for actress and supporting role, haven't seen any. Of course, Meryl Streep got nominated for best actress. Kira Knightley, I don't think she'll win. She was good in Imitation Game, but I don't think she was great. And Patricia Arquette, maybe. I'll, again, she was good. I don't know if she was great. And I'll, I have yet to comment on Emma Stone in Actress in the Spring Roll, although I'm happy that she got nominated. I think she's a wonderful actress. I love her in practically everything with the exception of Movie 43. And now let's move on to the category where I, that, probably the most surprising category, which is Best Animated Feature. Now, all, now the three American-released films, I'm not surprised that they're nominated. I mean, these are films that I've heard nothing but good things about, but, and then there's the two foreign films, which, nice to see foreign films getting recognition, although I have yet to see any of them. Probably should. But the real bummer and surprise is that the Lego movie wasn't nominated. I get it. There were a lot of really good animated films that came out, including 
and some really good foreign ones. You want to, of course, you want to put some get stop motion recognition. By the way, Leica, congratulations! All three of your films have been nominated for best animated film. That's a really good feat. But it's also a bummer because because the Lego movie. Because it was like I love the Lego movie. It was so great. And maybe it's because it got released in February, but I'm really surprised and really disappointed that it wasn't nominated. Of the two, I feel like either Big Hero 6 or How to Train Your Dragon 2 is going to win. Probably Big Hero 6 just because Disney, of course, gets the Oscars. Although I'm hoping Dragon wins, even if I haven't seen it, just because DreamWorks, they're in, they haven't been doing well of late money-wise. They haven't had a lot of hits, so they need like all the boosts they can get, so hopefully DreamWorks will win. And again, I enjoyed Box Trolls, but I don't think it's great. I wish I wanted to like it more than I did. And I wanted, again, Dragon and Big Hero 6 I wanted to see, I just didn't get time. And the foreign films, well, they're foreign films. It's been a little hard to see them. Cinematography, again, I really can't comment on any of these. Birdman doesn't surprise me. I mean, from what I hear, it's pretty much all one take, which I'm really interested to see. Grand Budapest Hotel by Robert Ewellman. Um, he, the Grand Budapest Hotel, that film was really, Wes Anderson's really well shot. I'm really glad this film's getting recognition. I mean, because Moonrise Kingdom, I really enjoyed that, and it didn't get that much recognition at the awards, so I'm glad it's getting some recognition. And for costume design... Again, I really can't comment. It's Grand Budapest had good costume design. Really interesting that Maleficent and Into the Woods are on there, but whatever. Directing, Birdman, Boyhood, Foxcatcher, Grand Budapest, Tation Game. I have yet to see any of this. I'm guessing Boyhood might get the nom win. Although if not Boyhood, then I'm, I want Wes Anderson to win, but I doubt. So it's either... And... While I thought Imitation Game was good, I, again, I, nothing really popped out directing-wise. It's either going to go to Birdman for its wonderful direction of the one-take thing, which I cannot wait to see Birdman. I mean, I've heard nothing but wonderful things about that. Or Boyhood. Best Documentary Feature, I haven't seen any of these. There's actually a really funny video on document... Well, it's actually on the short documentary, so I'll put it in the description. And let's see, editing... <sighs> Again, I really don't know what qualifies as editing, but again, all the films that I've seen on here are good. Best foreign language film, I haven't seen that. Best makeup and hairstyling. Guardians of the Galaxy got nominated. I mean, I like Guardians, but I don't really know if it stood out. I mean, p part of me just wants Grand Budapest to get it just for the one, but it's very interesting that a Marvel film got nominated for that. Um, let's see. Music. I just realized, I say um all the time. Okay. Um! Music. Original score. All these films had good scores. Wait, what? Wow. Grand Budapest and Imitation Game were done by the same person. I want Interstellar to win, just Hans Zimmer, but... Actually, Grand Budapest deserves it, just for that fun little quirky little theme that it had going. And for music, nice, Everything is Awesome got nominated. I feel like Glory's going to win, but I want Everything is Awesome. I'm s Why the Flying Fridge wasn't like a movie nominated? Production design, I don't even know what that is, so I can't nominate. Talk Really talk about it. Short film... Again, I really haven't seen any of these, so I can't comment. Short film, sound... Short film. Haven't seen any of these. Sound editing. Again, it's not something I really paid attention to, so I can't comment. For sound mixing, definitely I think it should go to Whiplash. And visual effects, it's basically a slew of blockbusters. For visual effects, prop... Wow, I love how all three of four Marvel movies got nominated for visual effects. It's either going to go to Planet of the Apes for its, my guess is, the motion capture. But it's pro but pro more than likely it's going to be Interstellar just because visually the film was great. And writing, 
I want Whiplash to win. I haven't seen many of the others, but I feel like that one's probably the best. For, well, for adapted screenplay. Wait, it's an adapted screenplay? And for original screenplay, it's either going to go to... I want Grand Budapest to win, but more than likely it's either going to go to Boyhood and runner-up being Birdman. Although, we'll have to wait and see. And yeah, those are my thoughts on the Oscar nominations. It'll be interesting to see how much I got right versus how much I got wrong. And so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So I'm looking forward to seeing the remain as many of the three big nominees. And if I can pick up anything else on the way, that's cool too. So please leave, if you've seen any of those films, please feel more than free to put your thoughts in the description. And as always, like, dislike, comment, subscribe. This is JSTAR260, signing out. Until next time, take care.